What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome into Clearing the Benches. Well, we've got about a dozen games left on the regular season schedule. So today we're going to be talking about five Western Conference teams trying to navigate their way into the playoffs. Uh, let's go up to our board. First up, we see the Nashville Predators coming in right now with 86 points. Uh, they are like Nashville spicy hot chicken hot right now. 14-2 and two in their last 16. Las Vegas says that they have a 99.5% chance at making the playoffs as of this morning. When I look at their next five games, Nashville could do some serious damage. Home games against Detroit and Vegas on the road at Arizona, Colorado, before coming back to take on the Boston Bruins. Look, in my opinion, if Nashville were to go 5-0 and in these games, they're telling the rest of the league, you better strap it up when Nashville comes to town. You look at their scoring, you got Forsberg, 77 points, a plus 19. Yossi, 71 points, a plus 17. Their D is over a combined plus 50. And Sorrow says 30 wins, Laukinen has 10 wins, and both have better than league average numbers. So Nashville, uh, if they can still stay on this roll and go into the playoffs hot, they are going to be a handful to deal with. Next up, we've got the Los Angeles Kings. They've currently got 83 points. They are third in the Pacific Division. They're 6-3-1 and one in their last 10. And as of this morning, Las Vegas is giving them a 96.7% chance at making the playoffs. Uh, when I look at that, I could definitely see them making the playoffs in some kind of a wild card capacity if Vegas were to pass them. Vegas is only two points behind them right now. Uh, when I look at the LA Kings and the games that they've got coming up right now, woof, you got a rough week coming up right now. You got a home game against Tampa Bay, and then you go on the road for your next four against Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, and Winnipeg. So even though Los, uh, the Kings have a 96.7% chance this morning of making that, that number could significantly drop down. That could be in the 30s by a week from today. So we're definitely going to be keeping an eye on that situation out in Los Angeles. And again, right now, Vegas just two points behind the Kings. Four and six in their last 10. They really miss Mark Stone. I know there's been a lot of talk about the LTIR situation. I don't believe that Mark Stone would be faking an injury. The guy's a gamer. He loves to play. And I can't imagine that the guy would be okay, like, missing the playoffs if he could play. I just don't see that happening. Um, as far as Vegas goes right now, they've got an 87.1% chance at making the playoffs. However, when you look at the games that they've got coming up this week, they could really do a little bit of damage and even lock that up a little bit higher, maybe get it above 90%. Uh, when you look at the games that Vegas is playing this week, Columbus Blue Jackets, and then they are on the road at St. Louis, at Nashville, at Winnipeg, at Minnesota. A couple of those are very winnable games, and they would definitely need at least, at least a couple of points out of every one of those games. You can't really, you know, come out of CBJ with one point. That would not help your cause. So uh, Vegas is going to be another team that we're going to keep a close watch on this week. All of their games are going to really be crucial. And when you look at their scoring, Marsha Show got 60 points. Eichel's got 53 points. You know, and then you're going down to like William Carlson. I know those guys are all big time playoff performers and, you know, they've proven themselves, especially Marsha Show. He's proven himself. Um, you know, Carlson's proven himself. You're bringing in Tomas Hurdle. Uh, we're going to see how that it works out for them, you know, if everything goes well, that should really just, you know, give them just more scoring punch and just uh, more chaotic presence in front of the opposing goaltenders. So Vegas is going to be an interesting week to keep an eye on as well. Next up, the surging St. Louis Blues, six and four in their last 10. All of a sudden, they've got 77 points. They are fifth in the central, but for some reason, Las Vegas only gives them a 5.4% chance at making the playoffs. And I don't know about that if I agree so much because when I look at the games that they've got coming up, there's a couple of games that I think that they could win and I think that they could, you know, improve in the standings and this number could jump up, you know, even high as 20, 25%. Uh, but when I look at St. Louis this week, you're on the road against Minnesota. Home against Vegas, home against Calgary, home against San Jose, home against Edmonton. Uh, they were to go, 
you know, four and one would be a great week for them. Three and two, I could see them being happy with that. Uh, but St. Louis right in the mix. And, you know, based on the games that they're going to be playing this week, I could see them still being in the conversation a week from today. And then we're bringing up the rear here with the Minnesota Wild. Currently coming in with 76 points, just a point behind St. Louis. And they're not all that far behind Vegas, five points behind Vegas there. Uh, six, two, and two in their last 10. Vegas only gives them a 10% chance at making the playoffs. And when I looked at the games that Minnesota's got this week, they've got some winnable games. They've got some points out there to be had. Uh, again, they've got a home game. They've got five home games this week. St. Louis, San Jose, Vegas, Ottawa, Colorado. Three very winnable games. Again, if Minnesota were to be able to plant their flag and somehow go 5-0, and they'd go from 76 points up to 86 points. You know, that would be where Nationals at right now. So that's going to do it for today's episode. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you could, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you think these teams are going to make the playoffs, uh, who do you think is going to get in? Who do you think is going to get squeaked out? And please don't forget, as we always do here at Clearing the Benches, let them know you're out there.